welcome to uh, Upper St. Clair versus Alderdice at Couples Stadium. We have a ton of stuff going on right now. We have the big choo-choo train. Woo, woo, coming. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. And um, we have the girls playing Alderdice in a section game. Is this, okay, I, I, sixth section game? I'm not even sure. Six, and so far the, the girls like what are four zero oh, and one. We tied against Bethel. Yeah, we beat. Okay. All right, it's gonna be a corner uh, goal kick for. Our, oh, excuse me, Alderdice. Alderdice is uh, a much improved team this year. They only beat. Um, uh, they only lost the ball by uh, a score of three to one on Saturday, this past Saturday, where the girls played Cumberland Valley and tied them one one. All right, that's a great ball by Catherine Miller. Oh, hits the side of the net. That was Maddie Rocks hitting the side of the net, I do believe. All right, so we have to set the starting uh, lineup. We have Heather. We oh, okay. We have uh, Sammy. It does look like Lauren. Now is that who who's out there? Is that Lauren? No, Jess. Jess Murphy and Julia. As our flat back. What? Andy Blow started. Oh, Andy Valella, that's Andy Valella out there on the flat back because uh, Lauren Hamill is sick. Uh, unfortunately, Bailey is just getting over strep throat herself. Not good stuff. It's going to be a good corner kick here. Bailey Malcuzny is going to take it. First corner of the day. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, that was close to being a handball. Emma corrals that. It's going to be another corner. I like it. Did we get a picture of the train coming in? Oh, excuse me. The, it's the choo-choo train. It's not the train. It's the choo-choo train. All right, so we have Sammy coming in to take the corner. And Bailey's going to make herself part of the crowd. Emma pops that bad boy up. Oh, it's going to be wide by Rachel Whitty. All right, so it's going to be another corner. Obviously, that deflected off an Alder Dice player. Bailey is going to uh, play this on the ground. And I like uh, fakes it. Goes to Sammy for a shot on goal. Come on, Emma, let's get a uh, looking to get another corner out of there. But Alderdice plays it well. And it's going to be Alderdice throw. Knocked out by uh, Lena Walnoa. All right, that's a throw that Emma Hasco takes, centers the ball. Catherine Miller trying to get a foot on that. Alderdice is all over that. Alderdice is looking pretty good. Rachel Whitty, oh, right at the goalkeeper. The bench is starting to get <laughs> situated here. Julia De La Perra makes a nice play on the ball. Ooh. Sends it out. She sends it out wide to Maddie, and Emma goes in one on one, and it's a goal for Upper St. Clair. That ball was mighty fast at that goalkeeper. Well, I, I guess you could consider that hard, I guess. I think mighty fast really described it perfectly. <laughs> if you like, we're in. Um, 
What, what, what was Opie in Mayberry RFP? <laughs> All right, after St. Clair is one nothing. We have 35 minutes remaining in the first half. Elena will know all over that ball. Sending it wide to Emma. We got some numbers moving up. Gotta love it. Sends it over to Elena. Always working to make a play. Oh, it's gonna be in lane. But I think Emma would have been offside, so it wouldn't have been a um, wouldn't have been able to play that anyway. I don't need it. Bailey Malcuzzi making a great play on that ball, sending it over to Heather. It's good to see Bailey uh, partially healthy. <laughs> That's going to go out to uh, Natasha Durda, who makes a nice play on that ball, who sends it over to Heather Godwin for the throw in. Sammy sending it back to the one and only goalkeeper that matters, Sarah McMurtry, who sends it up forward. Unfortunately, that is, you know, I have to absolutely, uh, I have to quit saying unfortunately. I just have to quit that. I noticed that on the uh, Baldwin game. I apologize. Unfortunately, I apologize for using the unfortunately too often. So we will try to curb that. It's a St. Clair throw in. Catherine Miller corralling that. I also use corralling. I, I did, okay. So we're gonna make new and improved. Sammy over to Heather Godwin. Passes it up to Rachel Whitty. Oh, who sends a nice, nice ball. I love what Elena did. Bounced it off the uh, Alder Days player and boom, it's a St. Clair throw, 30 yards out. Mm, we always have to have people turn that way to make that. I, I like the idea, though. If we have somebody there, we have a great scoring chance. Oh, that was a great, great touch by Rachel Witte. And, oh, it's going to be a corner kick. Emma sends that off the Alder Dice. That was a great volley. I, that was great. Kudos to Rachel Witte. It's going to be Bailey take. Oh, no, it's going to be Sammy Lagner taking the corner. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, goalkeeper punches that out. Maddie's going to get there. Send it over to. Miller, who sends it over to De La Pera. It was a great ball. Oh! Oh! I actually thought a couple of players were going to get that. Unfortunately, Maddie was the last and couldn't get it down inside the net. But nice ball by Elena and nice delivery by Julia Day. Got to like it. Okay, I just get the 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 pack which I thought I had lost. Thank goodness. The picture pack, of course, by Eminem Photo. That's oh, she's just offside, just offside. That was a nice ball. Bad. All right, that's a free kick, uh, indirect free kick by Alderdice. We get a foot on that, send it to Emma, who sends it to Rachel. Oh, and I think Elena is, oh, if Elena can just do something with that. Nice, nice. To Rachel Witte, who is, wow, wide open, but couldn't get through that little pocket. You gotta love how uh, Jules De La Pera and Heather Godwin are stepping up on the flat back. You got it. You need them. Definitely. Need them in the play. Jeffrey. Jack. Take this, Huber. What? He'll take that on. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. That's going to be Alderley's throw deep. You can't get much deeper than that on the throw. I'm not even sure we're like even getting close to that throw in. Oh. Mm, nope. We, uh, we're not even seeing the throw in it right now. Yes. There we go. We're seeing the throw in. Pretty deep. Elena gets a nice. Oh. No, Elena, it's not Elena. It's off the older nice player. Oh, fake you know what? Oh, we, got we only have, a, yeah, we only have two. Two referees. Oh. Which in a section game doesn't make sense to me. Uh, it's gonna be older dice throw. It's uh, less than 30. We got 29 minutes here in the first. Uh, it's gonna be older dice throw. Upper St. Clair is one. Older dice took huge liberties with that throw in. It's gonna be Upper St. Clair now. I hope Julia takes a few extra yards here because no, we didn't. But that's all right. She throws it right to Catherine Miller. Sends it over to Julia, who sends it back to Bailey. Bailey switching fields over to Sammy Lackner. Back to Bailey, who sends it wide over to uh, Elena. Well, no, who's going to let that ball go out of bounds? That is a uh, good decision. But Elena is coming out. No, yep, Elena's coming out, and we're switching Maddie over to the right outside. And Callie Card will enter the game as the left outside mid. Emma sends that over to Rachel Whitty, who sends it back to Heather Godwin. Emma knew that it was a little heavy touch. Bailey's in there to hopefully clean things up. Sends it over to Catherine Miller, who Brianna Erdman is not starting this evening. If she's not hurt or sick, because we have some illness going around the squad. Catherine Miller sends that over right to the gill keeper. Yeah. Nice. Bailey uh, stepping up there. Sammy giving chase. Sending that forward. Emma, Emma's going to Emma gonna be there. Over to Catherine Miller. Emma takes control now. Sends up all wide. A beautiful ball. Over to Kelly Carr. Let's hope she can do something with this. Kelly taking out wide, making a move. Oh, and I'd love to see that go in. Uh, nice move, though. Nice. Nicely done. Do have to like the aggressiveness in the move that uh, was created there. We have Mackenzie Schaefer coming in. She's a senior. She's going to replace Rachel Witte. As um, it looks like up top. Bailey getting that ball over to Heather Godwin, who sends it over to Emma. Emma's going to take it and shoot. Ooh! That skip to uh, barely outside of the goalkeeper's touch. Could have easily been a um, corner for Upper St. Clair, but didn't. But it was not. Could have easily been. So we're waiting right now. Not exactly sure why. Oh, we have illegal equipment on as far as the older dice player. Pardon me? <laughs> I think it was a tongue piercing. Um, I'm not sure. Heather giving great chase. Catherine, Catherine making great, great physical presence there. You gotta love that. Oh. All right, um, 
Alderdice making, yeah, nice play, but St. Clair is there. Emma giving a little bit of a hassle. Oh, I, oh, Maddie's on. Gotta like it. Come on, let's send that forward. And, oh, yeah, she gets a better foot on that. We, like, connect to the far side of the goal. But it wasn't the case. Okay, we have Heather making a nice header. Underdays uh, able to string a couple of passes here together. Getting a little possession time, but I don't think that um, uh, we've seen Underdays uh, be able to string more than two passes together here, which is obviously a good thing for St. Clair. Oh, that was an awesome ball by Julia Day. Unfortunately, Callie was just a smidge offside. And when I say a smidge, I'm, I'm saying inches, inches. Well, okay, millimeters, smidge, yeah. A pinch, pinch if we're using recipes, I'm not sure. All right. <laughs> That's a, nice, that's a nice ball. A little bit water. I think we could have gone with that. Maddie giving chase, putting a little pressure on older dice, and voila, it is a St. Clair throw. Voila. I was watching the um, miniseries Houdini on the History Channel, so um, I have voila. I say may say abracadabra here. Oh, and it's going to be a St. Clair corner kick. Looks like Sammy Lackner is going to take it. Twenty-three minutes. Sub so St. Clair one. Alderdice zero. Sammy Lackner will be taking a corner kick. Mm. All right, it's going to be a St. Clair throw. Nobody able to get a real good touch on that. So it's going to be a St. Clair throw, Julia Day. It's going to throw it in. Andy Valella. Uh, I do believe Lauren Hamill is out today. She is either ill or injured. We do not have the injury report. And sometimes Coach Durda actually... Um, kind of like doesn't say exactly what's up with the injury report like the New England Patriots do all the time but um yeah we're just going to use the best of our knowledge right now gotta like the effort that St. Clair's throwing at Alder Ice right now Julia De La Pera sending it up to Emma Hasco. It's going to be a St. Clair throw. All right, it's going to be a St. Clair throw. Uh, McKenzie sends it back to Catherine Miller, who's off a defensive Alderdice player. And we have Emma giving chase right now, making a nice run. And it, she sends that ball outside. To Maddie, she gets dispossessed, but I think we have, uh, yeah, nice, nice step up by Andy Valella, who sends that over to Mackenzie. Sends that ba back to Bailey, and Bailey sends that over to uh, Andy Valella. Valella, and yes, the Valellas know that I do like to say Valella. And unfortunately, it looks like Kelly Card was off again over there on the left side. I got to admit, I would um, like to see her stay on side. That's just me. Gives us a better scoring opportunity when you stay on side because once you're offside, that scoring opportunity is nullified. Gone. Nullified. Gone, gone girl. And I do say gone girl because I know that there's a movie coming out. 
with the same title because I am that hip. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. All right, so it's a St. Clair throw. Having a little uh, scrum over there, and it's going to be Alderdice's throw. We have some subs coming in. We have Katie Torkus coming in for Cali Card. And we have some Alderdice people coming in. I'm not sure who they are. My spotter has not identified any of the Alderdice players, but... All right, Emma's getting that ball. She has in total control. Uh, we just have to make sure that Maddie Rocks is on side, which I don't think she is. And Emma's like, she doesn't care. She's going to take it herself. And boom, right at the goalkeeper. Bounces off, but the goalkeeper makes a nice play. Some motorcycles going in the background. Hogs gone wild right now on South Side. Katie Kincaid is our um, illustrious camera person this, this evening. Thank you, Katie, so much for your efforts this evening. Girls making another pl nice play. You know, I, I don't know. If you watch, oh, uh, yeah. uh, not enough. All right, well, you know what? I will say. If I'm to give a synopsis of the season thus far, we have probably possessed 80% of the play in just about every game that we've been in. So we just have to keep driving forward and maybe sc score a few more goals. And who doesn't want to do that? What team does not want to do that? All right, Alder, I string in a few plays. Julia makes a step up. Andy Valella takes care of business. Nice, babe. Bay's able to make a nice play on that. Oh, we get that ball wide right now. There we go. We have Maddie Rocks on the right side. Right back to Jess Murphy, who sends it, unfortunately, right to the the goalkeeper. Once again, it's, I used the term unfortunately. Bye, Sammy's clearing that ball, sending it up to Jess Murphy. Sends it wide over to Julia. Julia running with it, making a nice ball to Katie Torkus. Katie's gonna run that bad boy down. Send it back to Catherine Miller. Oh, sends it just behind the goal. Oh, which obviously was a deflection because we're getting a goal kick. And Emma Haspa is going to take that goal kick this time. And Bailey sends it. I, don't know, I think that was wide. I do not believe that was even three points in college. I do not. But it's okay. You just said you had nine points last night. We'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that effort from Bailey, who's just getting over an ailment. It's going to be a goal kick for Alder Dice. Maddie sends a nice ball over to Julia. Julie has some space. Bailey is making a nice touch on the ball. Sends it back to Sammy Lackner. Sends it over to Heather. We got Emma. Off of the Alder Dice player. It's going to be an upper St. Clair throw.
Bailey not making a good touch, but able to make a nice pass back to Julia. Sends the ball up forward to Emma. Sends it into the air, but Heather's there. Gets a nice touch on it. Sammy ever able to control that. Nice touch by Katie. Sends it back to Jess, but Jessica Murphy, but unable to connect there. Maddie making a nice presence on the ball. You gotta love how many rocks has come out here and in the season. Just doing really well. Heather stirring things up. <laughs> oh, and it's gonna be a St. Clair throw in. This defense is uh, doing a great job. Um, I'm not sure how many goals they have given up this year, but it's not many defensively at all. Strong unit. Oh, if that would just gotten through. And Elena, it doesn't matter. Catherine's moving forward. She's going to send that ball to Elena. Well, no, I know he's going to chase that ball down. She's going to uh, come, come back to Catherine. Let's turn it. Let's turn it into the middle field because we do have numbers. Catherine, uh, no, Rachel Witte making another entrance. Missed that sub. She's going to be playing, um, I guess, center mid. I don't know. It uh, looks like Emma came out. Rachel making a nice play on that. Alderdice deciding where it is she wants to go. And fortunately, no, I, I, I'm like, I'm trying to not use that fortunate, unfortunately. Uh, she was able to find no one. It's going to be Upper St. Clair throwing. Throws that into Bailey Malcuzny. Oh, sends it right to, oh, Elena not able to get a foot on that. Alderdice will have another punt. I'm going to check with my statistician now. Um, how many punts do you think Alderdice has had? A hundred. I'm pretty sure as she said a hundred, so I'm going to go with that. Or five. Or six or seven. You as a viewing audience, you can decide. Got to keep you guys entertained. <laughs> like anybody's actually watching. <laughs> okay. Nice, nice. Oh, nice footwork by Mackenzie Schaefer. Ooh. And we're going to get that call. But you know what? I got to say, you know what? Outside the 18 is always a hard ball to deliver. Let's get some air. Oh, you! Darn it. Sammy Lagner takes that just over the crossbar. And I didn't say, unfortunately, it was just over the crossbar. I just want to make a um, you know, note that I said it was just over the crossbar. All right, it's going to be, um, okay, I think we have six or seven punts. I think now I'm going to ask my statistician how many goal kicks this will be. I think she said 100, but I think we're going to go with seven or eight. Jessica Murphy making a nice ball over to Maddie Rocks, who, oh, the keeper just gets a hand on that. Nice All right, time. we have a little over, oh, no, I guess the keeper did not make a stop on that. I guess it was just over her head. So we have about 10 and a half minutes left. We have Upper St. Clair one, Alder Dice zero. Oh, Elena giving that full forehead to that ball. Alderdice throw. Catherine Miller making a little physicality move there. 
We send that from Jess Murphy over to, is that Jess? I can't tell. I'm sorry. Yeah, Bailey, Bailey making a long shot. Unfortunately, right at the keeper. Oh, I went with that unfortunate again. Unfortunately, I said unfortunately again, and I do apologize. Catherine making a stab, but unable to. Oh, we just got a beep from the Upper St. Clair School Bus 163. All right, it's going to be a St. Clair throw. Oh, Maddie. Ouch. I'm kind of thinking if you're me and you make that kind of touch, you're probably down for like weeks if you're me. But thank goodness it wasn't me. And thank goodness it was Maddie Rock. Alderdice making the throw. Uh, you know, Alderdice has not made um, any attempt whatsoever on goal, but St. Clair's only up one nothing as we hit about eight minutes left in the first. Good hustle, Elena. Uh, Elena always gives a great hustle. Should be a St. Clair throw up top. St. Clair has... Um, two important section games coming up here. Not only is this one important, but um, we have two others coming up on Wednesday and Saturday. We play uh, Mount Lebanon at home and Bethel Park on Saturday at home, which is Youth Day. Youth Day. And that date is September um, 20th. Once again, I'm not a math major, but if I were to add... The 15 plus how many days? Five. 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 I'm pretty sure that equals 20. 20. Yes. Yeah, Tom. Go hard. It's going to be an altered ice throw on the side. Catherine Miller getting a nice head on that. Joel's making a nice volley. Send it over to Rachel Witte. Unable to, to bring that one in. But Joel's once again making her presence known. And Maddie Rocks is going to be there. And I hope. Oh, I wish she just would have kept going with that. I do. I would love to have seen her score there. That should be an upper St. Clair throw. Bailey looking a more spry, a little bit more spry than she has in the last couple of days. She's out of bed. <laughs> Tommy Lightner coming in for Bailey Malcuse. And we got six and a half to go. Rachel making a play back to Heather, who forwards it to Alderdice. And making a nice play there, sends it back to Sammy. Makes a nice play on that. Trying to switch fields right to Catherine Miller. Ooh, we wish you just would have gone forward with it. We have Elena Walnoa. Oh, doesn't have a good touch on that, so we will have. An altered ice goal kick. <clears throat> Upper St. Clair one, altered ice zero. We have 5.45 left in the first half. Helena giving that head up. Sammy makes a nice play over to Catherine Miller. Uses her foot skills. Sends it over to Julia, who gets a little air under the ball. And I think we're going to have a corner. You do have to like how Julia and Heather are pushing up. Elena making that corner. Wait, 
be an Alder. Uh, nope. It's off an Alder Dice player. It's going to be a St. Clair throw. We, I think we have Emma entering the game again. Who gets some touches. Rachel Whitty, who ooh, just sends it wide of the goalpost. Thank goodness we have more than four seconds left in this game. Because that would have been no good. All right. It will be an Alderdice goal kick. Oh, getting a little physical out there. Catherine sending that ball, Catherine Miller sending that ball up to Elena, who couldn't get to it, but we have some balling back and forth. Catherine gets it back. And now we're giving chase again. Tommy Lackner sending that ball back to Andy Valella. Sends it over to Sammy, who sends it to Heather Godwin. Back to Rachel Whitty. Over to Sammy, gets rid of it quickly. Coach Jurdig trying to give some words of wisdom. Uh, we're having some holding going on there. Oh, well, it was, no, I guess not. All right. So it's gonna be an Alder Dice. Free. Direct kick. Emma sending that to Kali, who couldn't quite get it to Emma. We have Heather try to head that. It's going to be a Alderdice throw. Emma getting into the mix again. Sends that forward to Rachel Whitty, who sends that, tries to send it up. Oh, unfortunately, uh, Alderdice player touched that. He was headed shh, definitely out of bounds. Rachel Whitty saying that, trying to send that out wide, but Alderdice once again, not connecting with that. It's going to be another St. Clair throw. All right, we have two minutes remaining in the first half of a section game here. We have up St. Clair one and Alderdice zero. Alderdice really has not really had a shot on goal. But they're hanging with the St. Clair Panthers. Um, I don't, I do not believe that Lauren Hamill has played and I do not believe that Bree Erdman has played. Uh, we, those are two starters. We have uh, Bailey Makuzny just coming back from um, some health issues. Uh, Rachel Whitty there sending that ball to uh, Aldred, I said. We're giving chase. Aldred is making some nice moves. So, boom, we have a step up by Sammy Lagner and, excuse me, not Sam, but Tommy Lagner, who gets that ball forward, tries to get it to Cali Card, who gives great chase. And it is off an older dice player. I'd like to see a shot. Why not? No, yes, um, why not? Whenever you can. Oh, oh it is a goal. Oh, uh, darn it! Nice stop by the goalkeeper with 35 seconds to go. Emma has a nice hard shot. <laughs> but that we have 20 seconds left and St. Clair will have a throw in. I'm going to take it. It's Callie. Callie gets back. Emma is going to take the ball one on one and she hits. 
Uh, right, boom, nice hard shot. And that's the end of the first half. Upper St. Clair one, Alderdice zero. Hello and welcome to the second half of the Alderdice Upper St. Clair game played at Couple Stadium. Upper St. Clair is leading one nothing. And obviously we have about 40 minutes left in the second half. Um, I do not believe that Sarah McMurtry, our goalkeeper, has touched the ball yet. But that's always a good thing. Bailey sent in a nice through ball up to Elena Molnoa, who always seems to get there. Oh, but she sends it right to the goalkeeper. It's a shot on goal. Uh, St. Clair is leading 1-0. Bailey Knight making a nice touch out of the air, giving chase. Still giving chase. I think this may be the deepest penetration that Alderdice has gotten. And it should be. I don't know what's going on. Referee is talking with the Alderdice coach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm not sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now they're playing with one less, and I do not know why. It's going to be a St. Clair throw. Oh, they had too many people on the field. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They had 12 people on the field there. Um, hmm. You would think there'd be some kind of penalty for that. <laughs> I honestly do not want to know what. The, I know in a basketball game, if you have too many people on this, it's a technical. Yeah, Emma Hasco getting a bit of a touch. Catherine Miller heading it back to Emma, who makes a nice move, who's going to get a shot on goal, and is going to score. Yeah, you have got to love when Emma Hasco has any bit, any bit of room in the middle of the field. Always. Could be trouble for the opponent and a score for Upper St. Clair. So we have 37 minutes left to go in the first half. It is Upper St. Clair 2, Alderdice 0. <laughs> We've had several choo choo trains going by. And yet another one. I'm trying to wait till the caboose comes, but mm, might not happen. Mm. All right, so we're gonna have a goal kick. I don't think we've had how many goal kicks we have. I don't know if we had any in the first half. All right, so this is perhaps the first goal kick of the game for Upper St. Clair. Maddie waiting patiently. Couldn't get the touch she quite wanted. Emma gains control and sends it back to Samuel Eichner. He has some space. Who's Julia then? Oh, that would have been nice. Wow. You know, one of these times. Jules is going to get a through ball here, and it's going to be lovely. All right. Catherine trying to thread a needle. It almost looked, it almost looked like, no. Um, I'm going to say it's an older dice throw. Obviously, they've um, 
had their deepest penetration here in the second half. Nothing like this in the first. St. Clair is leading two to nothing. I will say that uh, Alderdice has just made huge strides in their soccer program. They're doing so much better than what they were. Um, great pressure by Rachel Witte there. Elena Mulnoa getting some pressure and then sending it back to Bailey. Bailey, I think, is going to, oh, it's going to be a throw. It's going to be a throw by St. Clair once again. Elena will know it. Throwing some great hustle. Not sure who she wanted to throw that one into, but that's okay. She gets it back. Oh, oh, and it's going to be a corner for St. Clair. That ricocheted off an Alterdice player. Looks like Sammy Lackner is going to take this. Sends it low. Elena got a foot on it. Some great hustle. Unfortunately, she's unable, not able to keep that ball in. Catherine Miller making some strong moves there. Rachel Whitting moving up. It's going to be a St. Clair throw. Catherine just getting a little too much on it, but that was a nice move. Nice move made. It's going to be um, Alder Rice with a couple of subs here. We got 33 minutes left. Represent Clear 2, Alder Dice 0. Catherine, good, good touch on that. Elena, unfortunately, unable to um, get that, but it hit off an older dice player, so obviously it's going to be a corner. That's a goal. Oh! That was so close on a great service off of Sammy Lackner's head. Right to the cross forearm. Darn it, that was yeah. Bailey to Sammy. Wish that would have occurred. Darn. All right, so up St. Clair is two. Alder Dice zero. We've had quite a few scoring opportunities. Emma looks like she's just going to keep the burners on. Maddie Rocks trying to get through the five hole and still still going strong but a little wide on the near side um i think uh st Clair's going to be having cali card come in might be for elena Wolnoa. we shall see goal kick katherine miller stepping up nicely she's starting Catherine Miller's starting to get so much more aggressive. And you're going to need that out of a holding mid. Julia taking a quick throw. Callie Card not able to get in. Emma trying to move that forward. And Maddie getting some great position, sending that over to Catherine Miller. Emma, once again, you got to like when she gets a little bit of space there. Um, and when we're moving in and we're shooting inside the 20, ooh, look out. Annie Valella trying to make a step up. I think Catherine 
Uh, so close. She was still on, though. Be a punt by Taylor Alderdice Bailey, making a strong play back, but mm, a little too strong. A little too strong there. At that point, you just want to try to get it in the goal, I guess. <laughs> You would like to see Upper St. Clair go up 3 nothing, and then maybe get a few more subs in there. Um, it's going to be an older day throw. We have two subs coming in quickly. Oh, no, we're only one. Rachel Woody comes out, and we got Callie Card coming in, and Maddie moves up top. St. Clair throw. Let's, let's move that back. Yeah, th mm, yeah, it's even farther back. Big touch by the goalkeeper. Whoa. Oh, Elena. She's going to make that play one way or another. And unfortunately, that second was illegal. <laughs> a little trip. Not too noticeable. All right, we got a little less than 29 minutes. A free direct kick, kick for Alderdice at about the 48, if you had the 10, plus the 38. It's going to go in right to the 5. Nobody able to get that real cleanly. Alderdice using some arms, but it's going to be called. A little physical. Julia Day going to take that. It's going to send that ball off. Callie Card, I do believe, is going to get there first. Or, oh, she just gets, she puts a lot of pressure on. So it will be. On Alderdice throw, and that should be inside the uh, maybe the goal zone, perhaps the one or two, depending upon where the referees say. We got a lane. Oh, they're taking a huge liberty here. They're going to give them 12 yards on that throw. Mm, pet peeve. Sorry, referees should not let that happen. Uh, uh, oh my God! Did, did does everybody know that it's a pet peeve of mine? Uh huh. Cause it is. And you can get ten Damn plus yards. Not she's not no. She's not allowed. Bailey is not allowed to head the ball. Why should she be? That was a nice move. Nice move by that older dice player. They're able to get a nice, oh, oh. I'm not so sure about that. All right, it was left side. Emma was really very close, very close. Now, just to let you know, if, if you're off by a hand or an arm, it's not offside, because guess what? You can't score with that hand or arm. So it's only scorable body parts that you have to be offside by. Nice, nice individual uh, uh, move by and play by Maddie Rocks, able to get that to uh, Emma Haska, who sends up all just a shweesh him little high, shweesh him. Yeah. Well, I think that older day's goalkeeper just sent that out of bounds. It will be a St. Clair throw. 26 minutes left in the game for St. Clair 2. Oh, we, we're losing. See, that's that. we're losing 15 yards on that throw. Got to know where that ball went out. Oh, 
yeah, thank goodness Catherine Miller missed that one. That was coming in for, I think that ball was wet when it came down, it was so hot. Gonna be a St. Clair throw. Gonna send that up. Emma giving chase. Giving that ball forward. Cali card. Cali trying to send that ball back to Emma. Emma gets it. Catherine. Throw to Bailey. Gets a little bit of air under it. Mm, nice. I think that's going to end up in a corner kick. Gotta love when the service has a little bit of air under it. And you can run on. I have to say, gotta love it. I said it a few, few times already. But, Bailey making a short pass. Not sure why exactly, but Heather puts that in. Josh, shoot. Jules, I'd love to see it. Oh, that's three more points, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Got a couple of subs coming in for Alder Dice. 23 minutes in the second half. And we have St. Clair 2, Alder Dice 0. Oh. I think, no, oh, that's going to be a Wow. Could have been called, but I guess it's not. No, I really should have let that bad boy go. It's all right. Love to see your defense. Um, Aggressive. Catherine Miller trying to break through there. <laughs> Emma making a nice play. I'm pretty sure we got like a three on one. Boom! Hat trick for Emma Hasco. Three nothing with over 22 minutes. Boom. Did you hear me say boom? I said boom, and that's exactly what Emma Hasco said on that third goal of the evening, 3 nothing Upper St. Clair. That may have put the explanation point at the end of the sentence. Let's hope. 22 and a half minutes. Simi brings that in, makes a nice play. Sends it over to Callie Card, who hopefully will send that back to Julia. A little wide, but got to try to get as much possession here now and just eke out some time. Looks like Jess Sauerbeer is yeah, warming yeah. up on the sideline. Looking like she might be uh, heading in. I hope so. Although we do miss her here on the camera because um, yeah, I'm not... Although uh, we had Katie Kincaid here. That's a nice ball by Bailey over there. Our outside mid there is that uh, Mackenzie Schaefer who can, oh, not able to get a corner, but it's going to be a St. Clair throw deep. Anyway, um, you know, Katie Kincaid left very early in the first half, so we've had to rely on the 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 unsteady hands of Carrie Lackner. I'd like to, I would love to have said steady hands, but I wouldn't want to lie to the viewing audience because I know it's, it's huge numbers out there. Yes, yes. Please write in and uh, let us know how Carrie's doing. <laughs> All right, sorry. All right, so we have St. Clair 3, 21 minutes. Uh, Alderdice zero. It's going to be a free direct kick. 
by Samuel Ackner, who gets great air under it. Oh, you know what? I honestly believe if Emma would have really wanted to challenge that, she probably could have. She gave up, uh, gave a little space to that goalkeeper, probably a wise. Oh, wow! Not like playing the man first and then the ball. Thank you. Can we see? Can we see that in replay, please? I don't know, but wow! They. She did not play the ball first. She played. Who was it? Andy Valella getting decked right there. She may have some. <laughs> Welcome to the big league. Welcome to varsity soccer. I hope she can breathe. Brush burns. She got dumped. Nice work there on the sideline. Come on, come on, get some presence on the, yeah, come on, Maddie. Oh, darn it. Darn, Maddie. I don't know about you, but I love everybody who, do, who can score three, four goals a game. I just love them. I don't know why. <laughs> but I also like how we can prevent uh, scores of three or four nothing as well so I just don't want to like say I love the scores because I do but I love the girls who prevent them as well okay we have Rachel Krakoff and do we have Jess Sauerbeer entering the game we do it's going to be a St. Clair throw Okay, we're gonna take a little break in the action. All right, looks like it's going to be an older dice throw. We have 17 minutes to go. Everson got a three. Older dice zero. I think older dice can make a couple of subs here. Nice play. Sour Bear making it happen over there. Katie Torgis over to Maddie Rocks. <laughs> oh, nice ball, Bears. Oh, full out push, man. Oh, you're not going to oh, reward. Oh, that's a full out push. 
Yeah, you know, I, I know. It's like you don't want to go over the top, but when you extend both arms forward, you're, you're wishing something would happen. Come on, Catherine, take a shot. Left footed. Unfortunately, the goalkeeper's there. That's, that's hard to take. Oh, Catherine. Tinkler's still possessing it. I'm, you know what, I'm on, even with the subs in, they're probably possessing just as much as they were early, which is fantastic. Callie Card making a nuisance. So is Catherine Miller. Break some things up. Back to Rachel Witte. Sends that cross filled. You, gotta, you do like the switch. So like the switch every once in a while. Switch fields. Right, it should be a St. Clair throw. We have some subs coming in. Looks like Bailey Malcusen is going to come off, and so is Callie Card. Glad to see that. Rachel Woody making a nice through ball. Who is that coming up? Oh my goodness, come on Maddie Rocks, bury this bad boy. Yes, and she does, well done. Who made that, Rachel Woody? Nice pass. Nice yes. pass, Good job, well done. Love it, okay, we have 13 and a half minutes. Well, not quite, we have 13.48 left. It's up for St. Clair, four, older dice, zero. Um, two big games coming up here in the section, Mount Lebanon Wednesday and Bethel on Saturday. I think that the girls are making a case that they're growing stronger every game, which you hope. So can't wait to see what transpires. Hold on. All right, we have 12 minutes here to go for nothing Upper St. Clair. We're playing at Couples Field. Alder Dice is the opponent. Elena Walnoa chasing down that ball. Andy Valella making a nice play on that. Take that out of the Alder Dice end and kick it out of bounds. Give a little bit of a reprieve to the girls. At this point, I think we pretty much have mm, just all uh, all the starters out, I think, except for Sarah McMurtry. So we got uh, 11 and a half minutes.
And he making a nice step too, Catherine Miller. Oh, Catherine, oh, oh, so close, but she was, she was a good yard. That was a nice ball. Poor Katie was just a yard offside. Elena making a nice step too again. Oh, this is a great, great idea. It's just a little too much to the side, a little too much speed. You're gonna have to let up on that or just get a better angle, you know? Elena once again stepping in. For the Andy making a nice play, getting over to Katie Torkus. Tries to needle that through to Rachel Krakoff. Nice switch of feel by Alderdice, but I'm sorry. I can't tell. Yeah. Is that? No, I think Jess. Okay, Jess Saubier, and then we have Mackenzie Schaefer as the right outside mid. It's hard to see way up here. It really is. And my spotter just doesn't have the eyes that she used to. Is that uh, Jessica Murphy? I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Katie's off again. Darn it. So close. I thought I saw her, yes. Rachel Whitty trying to make that pass over to Mackenzie Schaefer. Sub coming in though for Catherine Miller who had a outstanding game tonight. Job, Getting her a round of applause. She is um, nothing but improved over the last, since the first game until now. Mm, such an improvement. Jess Murphy making a nice touch pass there. Elena will know. Uh, <laughs> uh, Katie making sure she stays on. We have Rachel Whitty. Oh, she didn't. It's going to be a corner. That should be a corner. Get off the Alder Days player. Eight minutes left. Nope. You're going to send that back to the ball girl. Yeah, there you go. I don't even know who's going to take this. I can't see that far. Elena. Elena will know is going to take this. Looks like we have a bunch of St. Clair. Oh, we're going to play it short. Jawitty. Rifling right at the goalkeeper, though. We do have a love affair with the short, short corner. Not exactly what, <laughs> why, but who am I to ask? I don't know. You, you could do that maybe once a game and like catch them off guard, but mm. <laughs> she's supposed to be playing back. She probably just took the other wing. Katie Torque is, oh, offside again. <laughs> Poor Katie, just not getting it. I think, though, if we um, watch the replay on the Jumbo Trump, it would show that she indeed was off each and every time. Yeah, unfortunately. Rachel Krakow. Kenzie's probably going to get there. And it's going to be a corner. That ball wasn't out? That's crazy. I thought it was. Only no one know I'm making lots of hustle plays. 
I do believe probably what Rachel Witte and Sarah McMurtry st starters in tonight's contest still out there. Rachel trying to just do a little too much, I think. Andy Valella making a nice through pass, getting some air under there. Keeper cannot grab that because it was a intentional pass back. Nice, Andy! That was uh, Jess Murphy making a head on that ball. Yes. I think we have another offside. Oh. Oh. I think it was a foul by Elena Wolnoa. Rachel Frazier just not able to get there. Just Sauerbrough there does get there, gets there again. Oh, she's getting muscled Princess. out of there. Holding her own though. Oh, and it's gonna be a St. Clair throw at the 20. Katie Torque is taking no time on that and Hi, sending Princess. it in. Oh, we have to maybe give that a little more time to develop. Like the effort, 100%. Four and a half to go. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be a St. Clair throw. Nice, Jess. Another St. Clair throw. Rachel to Rachel. Come on. Callie making a nice play to switch fields. Up to Mackenzie Schaefer. Oh, nice. That was a nice play. Nice some nice footwork, some nice overlap there by Elena Wolnoa. Rachel making a nice swift play. Footwork. Katie Torque is going to give chase, and it's going to be a St. Clair throw. Three and a half minutes to go. St. Clair four. Water dice zero. Rachel making a shot, just not on goal. It's a very pleasant evening here. We've, I think this might be the third or fourth choo-choo train we have heard coming in. Uh, we're on the south side. We are at Couple Stadium where the Alderdice, whatchamacallits, play. They're, <laughs> I really don't know, I have to admit. It's easier to know the name when it's scribbled across the end, you know, the end zone. Other than that, I'm like in need of help, I have to admit. Yes, many, many, many teams. In fact, I think we will be here when we play Oakland Catholic. And perhaps Carrick. And I still don't remember what the Carricks. I did the Carrick game and I can't remember what the Carrick. Um, anyway, I don't even know what Oakland Catholic is. I do know that the Upper St. Clair Panthers are playing this evening. But if you ask me in six, seven years, I'm not sure. Well, okay, I still will know, probably know that. All right, it's four nothing up for St. Clair. With two minutes to go here at Couple Stadium playing the Older Dice, much called, and um, pretty much have had a run of the field. Rachel Whitty taking his long shot. You know, the Older Dice keeper has done a great job. Um, you know, she's pretty much saw what has been at her. I mean, she had four shots that just, she had no chance on, absolutely no chance. 
you know, I have to say, I don't want to jinx anybody or do anything, but I do not believe Sarah McMurtry has touched the ball in play. Am I wrong? I don't believe she has touched the ball. Kudos to the defense. Minutes to go. It's gonna be a throw in by Elderdice. <laughs> Less than a minute now. And get that little air under the ball. Yes. Katie Torquez is on side. Oh, Katie. You had some time. Darn it. Tommy Lightner taking that out of the air. Oh. <laughs> oh, welcome to the big leagues. Boom. Although I had to say, um, they did their bit of uh, well, tossing around at uh, Carrick, I must say, those crossovers. All right, we have seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Upper St. Clair, four, Alderdice, zero. Thank you. Thank you.